When people ask me what my diet is, I say three things. Whole natural foods, mostly plants, cook everything in extra virgin olive oil. Turns out that's the Mediterranean diet in a nutshell. The one diet that has decades of data to back it up. It's not a fad cooked up by someone looking to make a buck. But with Atkins, you lose weight fast. Just use Keto Chow, the magical meal replacement that makes keto easy. I lost six inches in four weeks. The Mediterranean diet, it's a way of eating that's evolved over centuries because it tastes great, leaves you feeling good, and happens to be healthy. How healthy? It's linked to the world's highest life expectancy. It's proven to lower blood pressure and cholesterol and reduce your risk for type 2 diabetes. And that's not even close to the complete list. Now, I want to be clear, we're talking about diet here in terms of lifestyle, not a get slim quick scheme. The Mediterranean diet is a lifestyle change, a way to eat to improve your quality of life for years to come. And in this video, we're going to look at how. If you want to know my number one recommended dish, then stay tuned to the end. And if you have a favorite go-to meal that fits into the Mediterranean diet, then drop a comment below. Okay, lovely people. The core principle of the Mediterranean diet is to eat whole unprocessed foods, foods that your grandparents would recognize. Here are the main categories. Extra virgin olive oil as your fat of choice. Legumes, that's beans, peas, chickpeas, lentils. Fish that are rich in omega fatty acids, nuts and seeds, fruits and vegetables, of course, and whole grains. Think whole grain bread and even pasta. Yes, we'll get to why regular pasta is a healthy Mediterranean staple. So a lot of us have been led to believe that fat and carbs are the enemy. Multiple studies have proven this to be false. We have to get away from counting calories and instead focus on the quality of our calories. Let's start with olive oil. Unlike butter or lard, extra virgin olive oil contains heart-healthy monounsaturated fats and loads of antioxidants called polyphenols. These polyphenols are responsible for olive oil's flavor and aroma, and they also do amazing things in your body reduce inflammation, improve the immune system, boost brain power, even guard against certain cancers. So, so many things. I've got a whole playlist on olive oil, how to choose it, how to store it, how to cook with it, as well as my on location deep dive into how olive oil is made in Spain. Links below. But in terms of health, I just wanna highlight two quick things here. First, you always want to choose extra virgin because it's the purest grade, just straight up oil pressed right from the fruit. The one you never ever want to choose is light olive oil. This is the lowest grade and highly processed. Light has nothing to do with calories. It just means the oil has been stripped of flavor, color, and aroma using heat and chemicals. Basically, they've stripped out all those amazing polyphenols. So just in case there's any doubt, Light olive oil is garbage. Second thing to note is that the stronger the flavor, the higher it is in polyphenols. I don't know if you know this, but extra virgin olive oil is not just one thing. Just like each bottle of wine is unique, the same can be said for premium extra virgin olive oil. You'll find that video in my olive oil playlist too. Now here's something I'm pretty sure you've never heard of. Cooking vegetables in extra virgin olive oil actually enhances their nutrition. What I mean is that the polyphenols in the oil actually help your body absorb more nutrients from the vegetables than if you had eaten those vegetables without the olive oil. Okay, lovely people, legumes. Remember, that's beans, peas, lentils, chickpeas. These are big in the Mediterranean diet, which is not just Italian and Greek food. There are 22 countries spanning Europe, Africa, and the Middle East, all bordering the Mediterranean Sea, each with its own distinct cuisine. So eating beans can mean hummus or Moroccan harira soup or a Spanish fabada stew. Scientists are only beginning to unlock the full potential of beans, but it's clear that they are fundamental 
to a healthy gut microbiome. Beans contain a kind of fiber that our bodies can't break down, but which serve as a primary energy source for one of the most important species of bacteria in our gut. In fact, beans are so important that I'm working on a whole video dedicated to all the ways they keep us healthy. But in terms of the Mediterranean diet, one more key thing to note is that beans are among the best sources for non-animal protein. So protein, chicken, lamb, sometimes goat, all feature in modest amounts. But the main animal protein of the Mediterranean diet is oily fish. These are fish high in omega-3 fats, which are essential to brain health. They've been linked with improved concentration and are even being studied for how they might alleviate symptoms of ADHD. I'm talking about mackerel, sardines, anchovies, and salmon. One of the best things I ever did when my son was very little was introduce mackerel into his diet. Mackerel sandwiches are as normal to him as peanut butter and jelly. Start them while they're young, guys. Okay. Nuts and seeds. These are the incredible omega-6 fats of the Mediterranean diet. They help us regulate cholesterol and blood sugar and are found in walnuts, peanuts, almonds, pistachios, hemp seeds, and sunflower seeds. You can try adding these things to your oatmeal or granola. The way we do it here in the Jolly House is that we make our own snack mix. All our favorite nuts go into a jar along with raisins. Now, fruits and vegetables. We'll take those two as no-brainers, right? Right? But we can't forget to talk about the whole grain category. Anyone who knows this channel knows that I bake a lot of sourdough bread. In some diet circles, bread is a dirty word, but it all depends on what kind of bread you're eating. The wild yeast and bacteria of sourdough unlock the nutrition in whole wheat that you simply can't get from a loaf of processed bread. I've got an entire video that demystifies bread labels and helps you decipher between the bread that's actually good for your health and the junk that makes you sick. Link below. So what about pasta? Isn't pasta a refined carbohydrate that you should avoid? Oh, lovely people, I come with tidings of great joy. Studies show that pasta behaves like a complex carbohydrate. I mean like a whole grain because of the way that pasta is made. Pasta production actually changes the molecular structure of the wheat, turning it into slowly digestible starch, which is low on the glycemic index and doesn't spike your blood sugar. Eat your pasta with lots of veggies and extra virgin olive oil, and you've got a very healthy dinner indeed. Okay, so where do you start with all this? Which dish should you try first to get you started on your Mediterranean journey? Well, I have a recipe that I call my miracle meal. It takes literally 10 minutes of prep and feeds the entire family for less than 10 bucks. No joke. It's the healthiest one pot meal I make. And it's also one of my family's favorites. Even my eight year old devours it. And you can click it right here when it goes live.